We're here today in the uh, Rice Chapel in the Rice Memorial Center. This facility was built in the late 1950s. The driving force behind having a chapel in the new student union that was built in 1957 was J. Newton Razor. Newton Razor was a member of the class of 1917 who went on to become a very successful lawyer and businessman. He also became one of the most influential and important trustees on the Rice Board in its history. Um, he was particularly concerned that when the student union was built, it would include a non-denominational chapel for the use of the entire Rice student body. One of the things uh, that Razor was particularly interested in was that there be a suitable organ for the space. And so was commissioned this piece here uh, by Charles Fisk. It's been here for quite a while now and needs a bit of a freshening up. So there have been a lot of, a lot of changes. Um, Recarpeting, repainting, changing the lighting. Uh, the pews have been taken out and refinished. But most importantly, the organ is undergoing a serious restoration. It's a pleasure to work on it. It'll be a, you know, I think it'll be a wonderful, really a re-addition to the Rice community. And I think Rice has shown its commitment to, uh, you know, to music. Behind me is the Fisk Rosales organ in Edith Bates' old recital hall in the Shepherd School of Music. And one of the really um, fascinating traditions on the Rice University campus is the support of a program of organ study and also uh, two very interesting pipe organs. Um, the one behind me is in a great concert hall setting, but Rice Memorial Chapel has an instrument that is very different in its style. It was built in the late 1950s and uh, built by Charles Fisk, who fathered the company that built this uh, recital organ here. Students at Rice University will have the opportunity to play on both of these instruments, and the fact that they're very different in their style is a great asset to students studying the pipe organ. I'm personally very excited to have this instrument restored. Uh, the family of the original donors of that uh, Fisk Andover organ were so generous as to support the complete restoration and enhancement of that beautiful instrument. So before long, uh, we'll be able to feature it in public performances and uh, student events. To see it cared for and restored to what it could be again, it's sort of the best of what we should be in caring for our things. 